Welcome to another 5-Minute Friday. Today's topic is a better management model, the inverted pyramid. Let's talk about org charts for a minute. I know that sounds super boring, but stay with me. In a classic org chart, you've got the CEO up at the top. You've got senior leadership, you've got some middle managers, and down at the bottom, you've got the frontline employees. It looks kind of like a pyramid. In a classic organization, decisions get made at the top. The CEO makes a decision, and then that decision cascades down to the frontline employees who then implement that decision. However, there's a problem with this structure. You see, the CEO has the least amount of information about what's actually happening with products, systems, customers, and customer problems. The CEO is several steps removed from all of that. The people that have the most information are the people that are building the products, delivering services, and talking to customers. You know, the people actually doing the work. So, how can the CEO make great decisions? In many ways, they have the least amount of information about what's actually happening in the business. Let's explore a different model. I think a better model is to push decision-making closer to the information. The people who have the information should make the decisions. In other words, invert the pyramid. In this model, frontline employees make most of the decisions. Those decisions are then supported by management all the way up to the CEO. In the inverted pyramid, management becomes a support function rather than a command and control function. Senior leadership's job is to still help guide the business. Often they will see the big picture and have an idea of the direction that the business needs to go. However, in the inverted pyramid, The job of leadership is to convey intention and parameters, but not implementation. Sorry, this all may sound a little abstract. Let's make it a little bit more realistic. Say there's a company called Catflix, which is a subscription service for adorable cat videos. $5 a month gets you the best cat videos on the internet. The company looks kind of like this. One day, the CEO sees that the churn rate is up. This means that more people are canceling their subscriptions. The CEO could tell everyone, we need videos with cuter cats, because they think that that would fix the problem. However, the CEO would be making that decision based on really limited information. If Catflix is an inverted pyramid company, the CEO would instead convey intention. Reduce churn. The different department leaders would then start cascading that intent up to the front lines. The customer service people would be able to share the reasons that people cancel. Based on that information, the people making cat videos could make sillier cat videos. The software engineers could work on speeding up the system so that the cats load faster. The data analysts could build better dashboards for monitoring cancellations. By conveying intention rather than commands, management allows everybody to work together in unison to solve real customer problems. This frees management to spend time and effort providing support, like tools, education, and budget. Management can also be useful by connecting the different parts of the organization. You might be a little suspicious of all this. You might be thinking right now, okay, the inverted pyramid works great for fictional cat video companies, but how does it work in the real world? Well, what if you tried this in a nuclear submarine? A man named David Marquet actually did. He became captain of the nuclear submarine Santa Fe in 1999, and at that point, it was the worst performing nuclear submarine in the U.S. fleet. He almost immediately stopped giving orders and switched to conveying intention and letting his crew make the decisions about how to operate the submarine. In other words, the inverted pyramid. Within a couple of years, the Santa Fe changed from the worst performing nuclear submarine to the best performing nuclear submarine in the whole U.S. fleet. David Marquet wrote a really good book about it, and he's got some great talks on YouTube that you should definitely check out. If you're interested in adopting this management style in your own organization, here's a few quick guidelines. Always push the decision-making close to the information. Management should be there for support, not for command and control. Management should be conveying intention rather than giving orders. This style of management might feel weird at first, but once you get used to it, you'll find that it's actually super powerful, and it also makes everybody a lot happier. Thank you very much.